Welcome back to the show. We now return to New Zealand for highlights of round two of the New Zealand Jet Sprinting Championships. So this is Baden, first to go in the five. So he put the troubles of round one behind them. They had a mechanical issue with Ting Tools Racing. And the boat wasn't right after uh, Baden's penultimate uh, elimination. Remember, we cut them from 12 to 8, and then to 5, and then there will be just be 3. Will Baden and Tanya Iamunga be amongst them? Looking for the split time. That'll tell the story. Remember, all the times that we've set before mean absolutely nothing now. We start with a clean slate after each and every elimination. Coming down to the split point now, 30.27 for Baden Gray. Not quite the 29-second uh, pace of his teammate, but probably enough. Don't be too surprised if the times do blow out a little bit. You've mentioned the problem before about the, um, the water draining out of the circuit here at Featherston, and that slows the boats just marginally. Down towards the finish line now, Baden Gray and Tanya Iamunga. The Ten Tools Racing is the boat. It's a stinger, a white point of boats creation. They're down to the finish line. It's a 55-89. Paul Gaston and Louise Blythe next to go. The boat is the Hurricane, sponsored by Glass Pro. I know that they're getting a lot of help from current World and New Zealand International Group A champion, Reg Smith. And I'm sure Julie helping out with uh, Louise as well. This is brand new to Louise Blythe. She comes from a motorsport background. She has been a swinger on a sidecar. In fact, the New Zealand Championship uh, swinger on a sidecar. But here she is getting her feet wet, if you'll pardon the pun, in jet sprinting with the likeable Australian. Lives on the Gold Coast, commutes regularly to each and every round here of the New Zealand Jet Sprinting Championships. This is Paul Gaston. Having a look for the splits, another quick one. 29.61 makes it the second quickest of the afternoon. So he's easily matching his pace from the top eight. This is the top five. From here we'll cross them off and there'll be just three. Who will it be? Will Gaston make the final again? Will it be Bevan Muir? Will it be Sam Newdick? The smart money says Newdick will get there, but we'll wait and see. Down to the finish line now for Paul Gaston. 54.91. Has he booked a spot? We will wait and see with the run still to come. It's still a die now, so uh, just got to smooth her up and do a good run. I uh, made a dog's breakfast of it uh, last run, so uh, hopefully that was my uh, bad one. But yeah, it's now or never. So Bevan and Kathy Muir go next. This boat being double driven, remember, Baden Gray and Tanya Iamunga driving as well. Ten Tools Racing is the boat. Once again, a stinger hull, Bevan and his wife Kathy. Kathy doing the navigational duties, and you saw from the interview that Bevan just putting the pressure on himself a little bit here. He knows he's got to do a clean, fast run if he wants to make the next round of eliminations, and that is the finals. He wants to be there, make no mistake about it, but can he get the job done? He's going to have to be in the 29s at the splits, and that's got to be a big improvement on his previous split. 29.88 in the top eight we're down to the top five will it be another 29 second clocking it will be 2970 so he's improved on his top eight time so he's going in the right direction now he's got to get these islands just absolutely perfect not scrub off any speed although he got very very close to the tire wall there maybe that cost him a hundredth and that could be the difference between making the final and going home early on the bubble now it will be baden gray his teammate so he'll be worried from the infield, but meantime, Bevan stops the clock with a 55-53. Now, will that stack up? Cut a few corners there and got a bit of weed up the grill coming back up the side here. And he sat there for a while. Richard Murray, the next one to go. Mean Machine is the boat. It's uh, something for the Blue Oval fans to cheer about. It's a Ford small block running around about the same horsepower as all the top line uh, PSP International Group A boats, around about 700 horsepower. Carburetor coming from a giant four barrel carb through aluminium heads into a cast iron block. Very limited by the modifications you can do, unlike the Suzuki Super Boats, which we'll see here at Featherston uh, presently. Richard Murray coming off a great start to his season with a good performance at round number one. Chase Sam Newdick all the way to the finals at Whanganui. Can he do the same here? Kesty Manning, this combination has been together for a long, long time. 
Richard's wife Julia doing such a lot of work behind the scenes with the administration of the sport here in New Zealand and Richard Murray doing a sterling job behind the wheel of Mean Machine as he works his way around the fastest part of the circuit here at Featherston down towards the finish line now it's going to stop the clock I think in around about the 54 second mark it will be but only just 54.93 is that enough to get through it ranks him second and it knocks out Baden Gray so now the time on the bubble is the 55.53 of Bevan Muir. So are we seeing the demise here of Team Tools Racing? Because at the moment, Sam Newdick, who has gone quickest of all with a 53.85, he did that in the top eight on the journey now. Glenn Mason doing the uh, navigational duties. You get the feeling if this run is anything to their potential, it might be time to say goodbye to Bevan and Kathy Muir. We'll know when we get to the split. If it's under the 29.40 second mark, I think Ten Tools Racing is in trouble. It is under 29.25, fastest split of the day for Sam Newdick and Glenn Mason. Look at the way he throws the boat around that serpentine S section of the course down by the big spectator wall and heads up to top velocity up to the top end of the track. Now he's just got to bring it home comfortably. He did a 53.85 in the top eight. What's the time going to be this time around? Can you believe it? It is a 53.85. He's replicated his time from the eight to the five and it means that Sam Newdick will be on top when we get through to the finals. In second place, it will be the Australian Paul Gaston and in third, it will be Richard Murray. So first of the top three to go here at the JNS Aqua Track in Featherston is Richard Murray and Kirsty Manning. Remember all the times previous uh, mean nothing now. We start with a clean slate once again, but it's interesting to note the split time, so we'll be referring to them as the run gets a little bit older. They need to be in the 29s, 29.30, 29.40 to be in the hunt, I would think. This combination from Whanganui, Mean Machine is the boat. They finished third in the New Zealand title chase last season. They're only bested by two men, Red Smith and Julie Smith, who retired at the end of last year, and the man he's going to face in the finals, and that is Sam Newdick, who finished in second place. The spoiler, the fly in the ointment, could just be Paul Gaston. Split time for Richard Murray, 29.82, so he's just gone quicker than he has all afternoon, but will it be quick enough? They say the cream rises to the top when you get down to the business end of these things, and that's what we're seeing here. Oh, and there's a problem. There's a real problem here for Richard Murray, and it's a mechanical issue. The boat's gone off song. They've slowed drastically, and that has ended their chances. They will get third-place points in the final. The time will blow out to 59.68. It's like a coil lead just packed up all of a sudden. We're going pretty good until that thing the last corner, and all of a sudden just died, basically. Something as simple as that, eh? $10 part. Probably, probably not even 10 bucks, but never mind. That's the way it goes. It's racing. So commiserations to Richard Murray and Kirsty Manning as we welcome out onto the circuit Paul Gaston and Louise Blythe. This is the ex-World Championship winning, ex-New Zealand title winning boat. Driven so well and navigated so well by uh, Reg and Julie Smith last season. And of course uh, he's been mentoring Paul and Louise in their crack at the title for 2013. And who's to say they won't do it? They were fast at Whanganui. They've been fast all day here at Featherston. They've been in the 29s consistently. Split time this time, 29.35. So once again, they continue to go quicker. Their best split of the afternoon. Now, can that translate? Remember, they had problems in an early qualification round. They made one small mistake, and it cost them. What's it going to be this time round? They need to be in the 53s if they're going to feel any confidence at all with Sam Newdick still to come. The boat just gets a little bit untidy on the S's as they head down towards the finish line now. 53.91, they're first at the moment. They've eliminated uh, uh, Richard Murray's time with one to go. And it is the man of the moment. Clearview is the boat sponsor. Sam Newdick out of Hamilton, the drain layout. The boat is wet dream racing. It's a white pointer hull with a Scott eight and a half inch jet unit. 600 horsepower and 406 cubic inch Chevy sitting just behind Glenn and Sammy. Look for the split time. They've been quick all day. They had a 29-25 in the five. That was the fastest split of the afternoon. But they've bettered it. They've done a 29-11 in the final. So he's certainly not resting on his laurels. He's letting it all hang out as they work their way around this wonderful, wonderful course. Around about nine corners in the current uh, rotation. 
and they all come up pretty darn quickly. You've got to have your wits about you, and that's what Sam Udick and Glenn Mason have got. They are on their way here to make it two for two in the Jet Sprint Championship, if they can hold it together. Oh, they get a little bit of ragged around the last corner. Now it's the full-on, full-frontal drive to the finish. 53-65, he's done it again. Sam Udick and Glenn Mason go back-to-back -back in PSP International Group A. They win here at Featherston. In second place, it is Paul Gaston and Louise Blythe. And in third place, Richard Murray and Kesty Manning. So if we have a look after two rounds of the six-round championship, it is the Hamilton drain layer. Sam Newdick along with Glenn Mason on top on 60 points. Second equal now, a battle, a trans-Tasman battle raging between Paul Gaston and Richard Murray. And in fourth place, it's Bevan and Kathy Muir. Don't go anywhere. Coming up after the break, we've got top-class surfing action. And later in the show, it's RC44 sailing from Portugal. See you in a couple of minutes.